Good evening, everyone. This is Fender. It's the 1st of August, 2017, time 11.34 p.m. here in the greatest city in the world, New York City. I'm on the DailyMail.com website, and they have an article about an asteroid. Uh, this article was posted 31st July, 2017. Okay, and I'll read this article to you guys and gals now. 30 meter asteroid skimming past Earth in October will test NASA's doomsday planetary defense system. Asteroid 2012 TC4 will pass 4,200 miles from Earth on October 12th. NASA is using a flyby to test its asteroid detection and tracking network. As it starts to approach Earth, telescopes will establish its precise trajectory. The observations are expected to help refine knowledge about its orbit. On October 12, a 30 meter is set to make a close flyby of Earth. The asteroid named 2012 TCF will pass just 4,200 miles or 6,800 kilometers from Earth for the first time since it went out of range in 2012. NASA is using this opportunity to test its planetary defense systems put in place to protect Earth from a doomsday asteroid threat. Asteroid 212 or 2012 TCF is estimated to be between 10 or 30 meters in size. Michael Kelly, a scientist working on the NASA TC4 observation campaign said, scientists have always appreciated knowledge when an asteroid will make a close approach to and safety pass or safely pass the earth because they can make preparation to collect data to characterize and learn as much as possible about it. This time we are adding in another layer of effort using this asteroid flyby to test the worldwide asteroid detection and tracking network, assessing our capability to work together in response, defining a potential real asteroid threat. NASA has, or NASA hopes to use its international network of observation to recover, track, and characterize 2012 TC4. Professor Vishnu Reddy, who is leading the campaign, said, this is a team effort that involves more than a dozen observatories, universities, and labs across the globe so we can collectively learn the strengths and limitation of our near-Earth object observation capabilities. This effect will exercise the entire system to include the initial and follow-up observation, precise orbit, to determination, and international communication. Based on prediction made at NASA Center for Near-Earth Object Studios, 2012 TC4 will pass no closer than 4,200 miles from Earth, although it will more likely pass much further away as far as 170,000 miles. The asteroid was first discovered in 2012 when its speed passed Earth, but it has been too distant and faint to see over the last five years. But as it starts to approach Earth in the coming months, large telescopes will be used to detect it and establish the asteroid's precise trajectory. The new observations are expected to help refine knowledge about its orbit, narrowing the uncertainty about how far it will be from Earth at its closest approach in October. Paul Shodux a manager working on the project said this is the perfect target for such an exercise between because while we know the object of 2012 TC4 will 
well enough to be absolutely certain it will not impact Earth. We haven't established its exact path just yet. It will be incumbent upon the observatories to get a fix on the asteroid as it approaches and work together to obtain follow-up observations that make more refined asteroid orbit determination possible. All right, here we go again. The last way. Uh, flying past Earth's very close distance, almost. Uh, wow, you guys and girls probably like to know why I'm so, you know, interested in asteroids and meteors. Uh, I have to answer that question by saying it's because of the multiple dreams that was given to me many years ago. Uh, and these dreams were on asteroids, meteors, comets, um, and other uncanny events taking place in our solar system. And these dreams, which was given to me some years ago, uh, are pathetic, I believe. And uh, a lot of my dreams has already come to pass. So, and personally, I believe we are living in the end days. Anyway, I will link this article in the description box below. Everyone, thank you for watching this video. Take care. God bless and bye.